Hey guys, uh, it's Alex. I'm today going to show you how to um, use the Scrappy framework, uh, it's a, which is a Python framework, um, which allows you to um, scrap information off of websites. Um, a few points I want to make before starting this tutorial. Um, one, make sure that whatever websites you're scrapping from, uh, you know that it's legal to scrap off of, uh, especially if you're going to be using that information for um, any sort of project or redistributing it or any or anything, um, because there are definitely um, certain sites where it is illegal to scrap information off of. Um, and also, in this tutorial, I assume that you've already installed Scrappy. Uh, if you haven't, I'll probably be making a tutorial on how to install it in the future, um, and definitely leave me a comment if you want that tutorial. Um, and I'll show you real quick where you can go to get that information on how to install it, and that is scrappy.org, and then documentation, and you're going to want to get the latest release, which is um, 14.1, but there is a newer one, but it's still in beta test, I believe. And then you want to go to installation guide, and this will guide you through um, installing Scrappy. It's a uh, pretty thorough. Uh, it took me a little while to figure out because on Windows it is a little bit harder since there is no package package manager, but uh, it's still fairly easy. Um, now, basically in this tutorial, I'm going to go through. Um, how to use the shell version, or like how, how to use the command line um, system for scrapping web pages. This is not actually writing a spider itself. Um, this is more of like a debugging tool that'll become very useful if you uh, continue in this series um, and learn how to actually write spiders because you will definitely use this feature over and over and over again. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to get right into it. And what you're going to want to do is type in a scrappy and shell and then um, the web address of the website that you want to grab information off of. I, um, for this one, am just doing the Wikipedia English homepage because I I'm pretty sure that it's legal <laughs> to scrap information off of this since it's Wikipedia. Um, and uh, you need the HTTP, uh, HTTP I'm pretty sure. Um, and then you're just going to hit enter. Uh, what did I do wrong? Um, shell. Let's try this one more time. Aha, I did something wrong, but uh, I think I probably misspelled something. Um, so this is what you want to see. You want to see this area right here. This is um, this means that it was successful. You'll get some sort of error up here if it wasn't. Um, and one thing to note real quick is that when you install this, uh, when you install Scrappy into Python, um, you want to make sure that you set your you update your system variables. Um, so that you have access to the Scrappy framework um, without going into your Python root directory and having to call the Scrappy parser um, in that directory. You can actually call it from any directory on your computer. So um, basically with this, we're going to start with um, an hxs select. Um, and basically what this means is we are um, able to grab specific elements off of this web page um, using what are called XPaths, which is ba basically, um, I'll actually show you how this works. Um, say we want to grab uh, what's in this box right here. Um, I'm using uh, uh, Firebug, by the way. Um, as you can see right here, this is showing basically the um, hierarchical structure of uh, 
these HTML tags. So it's just going further and further into it until we get to the information we want. And as you can see, it's held in a span tag with an ID in a class. And what we can do is, um, as you see below my cursor, when I linger on here, it gives me this weird path. Um, it's not doing it. Oh, it was, okay, whatever. Uh, basically, oh, it's there again. Um, this path that's below my cursor right now is basically um, telling you the, the way to get to this element um, through all the different HTML tags. And this is the general idea, though there's a very simplified way of doing this, and that is by using the class or the ID of the specific element, you can actually grab the information a lot easier than using that long path. And basically, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to type in slash slash span. And what this does is it means that instead of grabbing the whole page, you're grabbing only span tags as root elements. Um, and then you're going to type in this bracket and the at sign and class and then double quotes. And you're going to put in um, the class name that that element has. And this basically simplifies that huge um, mess of XPaths that you would have to type in um, if you didn't have this. But if an element that you're trying to get doesn't have a class and you're trying to get a specific element, um, you may have to do that. Um, but this is just a simpler way. And then um, basically, if you write another slash, you're getting, um, if there was something inside of the span besides this text, like another tag, let's say there's like an h1 tag in here, um, you could do slash h1, and that would grab all of the, uh, it would only grab what's inside the h1 tag, um, basically going through deeper and deeper into the uh, HTML tags. And now, because I, I, I wrote a slash there be for a reason, I'm gonna type in text, and this is a function um, that Scrappy provides. And it basically says, instead of returning um, the actual, uh, the, the tags that we're getting, instead of returning the span uh, ID and class, and then also this text, I just wanna return that text. Um, and then you also have to do dot extract. And that's another function that Scrappy has. And then uh, hit enter. And what this does is it returns. Um, it looks like we got more than I was initially expecting. What that probably means is that something else um, has that same class. Um, and as you can see, this is really helpful um, because you have to, when you actually write the spider itself, you have to use these. Um, these XPath select statements. Um, so basically, using the command line view allows you to figure out what uh, what elements you want to get and how you have to get them, and testing to make sure that you get them every single time. So another thing we can do is like uh, HXS select, um, and then we can just grab. Um, we can do like. Uh, whoops, quotes. Um, we can do just like h1, for instance, dot extract. And what this will do is grab all of the h1 elements on the page and extract them. Um, as you can see, there's only one, kind of surprising. Um, let me do something that's a little bit more drastic. Let me do div, because every page has a ton of divs. And as you can see, there is a ton of information in all the divs. Um, I don't even think, yeah, my buffer doesn't even support all of it. Um, so that's just to show you that you can uh, grab things like that. But you can also do this. You can do a uh, div. So this is a non-specific div, but we want for instance, when we add a slash, we can grab an another type of item. 
um, from the div. So we could grab all of the links inside of div tags. And as you can see, it returns um, all the different link tags um, within divs. Um, so I, what I'm trying to do right now is just basically demonstrate how this whole um, XPath system works. And uh, if I'm not explaining it well, I'm, I apologize. And I will show you a good resource um, that helped me learn this. And that is, um, I just typed it into Google, but uh, W3School has some really, really great tutorials on the subject. And you can uh, go through their tutorials. Um, and they help you really well figure out how, how this works and all the different nuances of it and how to um, grab specific elements. And by the way, this also works for XML, not just HTML. Um, and so yeah, that's the basic idea behind XPaths and how to use the command line interface. Um, there are definitely more features in it that I haven't covered in this tutorial, which I'll get into in other tutorials, but this gives you the basic idea and um, rate and subscribe if you like this and let me know if you want more tutorials on the subject. Um, and I think in future videos I'll actually go into writing um, an actual uh, spider using Python um, and Scrappy. Uh, let me know if you, if you would be interested in that tutorial. All right, um, guys, have a good day, and let me know if you want more tutorials like this.